Plus, in two weeks away, preparations have begun for the potential, potential influx of people. Megan Hartnett just spoke with energy companies about how they're preparing for more people in the area. I mean, Megan, should we really be worried about power outages from all the people here? No, Dan. The power companies I spoke with say the influx of people shouldn't be a problem. Really, their main concern is response time. Lucas County could see an influx of almost 400,000 people on April 8th. Power companies have been preparing for these extra people for months now. We've been talking to our community leaders, our, our local emergency management agencies about their preparations. Uh, we've been looking at uh, the demands of the increased traffic and how to best respond to emergencies the day of the eclipse. We're prepared and confident in our plan. We'll be staffing up across Ohio uh, starting the weekend before the eclipse, just to make sure we have extra field personnel out there uh, in the field. You know, we do anticipate some traffic and congestion with all these thousands of visitors coming to Ohio. So we wanna be able to make sure that we can respond to any outages uh, in a timely and efficient manner. Traffic is actually the biggest concern for companies. One of the major causes of power outages are vehicle accidents. Vehicles um, run, into, run into the power poles and, and cause the outage. So in order to respond to the day of the eclipse, we've, we've looked at staggered shifts. Uh, we've had some strategically placed crews in the area of full totality. And when it comes to solar energy, the question of losing power, with sunlight disappearing for a few minutes, is production expected to be impacted? There's an impact on, on production. There will not be an impact or a noticeable change to consumers. So the grid operator will know when the decline in solar production is expected to happen, and they will quickly replace that with another resource. Will Boya, a first energy spokesperson, says it's important to remind people to not go near any electric infrastructure when watching the eclipse and to be safe. Reporting in studio, Megan Hartnett, WTOL 11. City of Toledo Parks and Rec, uh, Parks and Youth Services inviting everyone to come and view the solar eclipse on April 8th. They're asking you to visit one of three city park locations between one and five to celebrate. The three locations are Promenade Park, Navarre Park, and Joey Brown Park. There will be live music and games and food while the moon passes in front of the sun. There will be free safety glasses passed out there while supplies last. And for more information on the eclipse and what you can expect, WTOL has you covered. We have a whole eclipse guide on our website. Head to WTOL.com.